Finally, 25-year-old Ferdinand Omanyala will be one of the athletes to watch the third round of the Athletics Kenya Relay Series after storming run in the men's 100 meters where he clocked 10.11 seconds, arguably the fastest unofficial time in Kenya. This season, Omanyala is targeting to run a sub-10 to join the elite group of the world's fastest men. I attended a session with a speedster as he prepared for this weekend's relay series. This blistering run by Ferdinand Omanyala during the second Athletics Kenya Relay Series on January the 23rd stood out for two reasons. One, it clearly illustrated that he was significantly faster than his opponents, securing the win by more than 20 meters, but he also set the fastest time in Kenya in the men's 100 meters race when he clocked 10.11 seconds. Omanyala had lowered the national record by 0.03 seconds, but it was not ratified because of wind assistance. Omanyala is still basking in the glory of that run. Coming to this season, we had a very good uh, preseason, starting September. So I, I, I started uh, feeling fast in November. I knew it's going to be a very good season. I'm going to run personal bests. His love for the short distance races was only nurtured five years ago, when he started running competitively. Omanyala had a background in rugby and played the game for Kamusinga High School. And then later on, after high school, I was called to play for the under-20 Kenya Sevens, but then coming back here in Nairobi, there was no trials. So I just decided to give it up. A friend noticed his speed on the wing and recommended a transition to the track. At the time, Omanyala was being trained by a rugby coach to improve his sprinting skills. He met his current coach, Duncan Yemba, soon after, a former sprinter who quickly realized the 25-year-old's potential. So... In 2016 now is when I started going for this weekend meetings for the Athletics Kenya weekend meetings. I went for the first one in Mumias, which I won. And then when I was given that token of appreciation, the 5,000 shillings, I felt so motivated. So I wanted to sprint and sprint more. His running was awful. He used to run with his hands crossing his, his body, his legs kicking, crisscrossing all over. So as a coach, I tried to, to correct that. Uh, tuck, 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 tuck. Uh, scoop. The impact was almost instantaneous as he began dominating the local races. I won the Olympic trials with 10.37. 10.3 in 2016, 10.2 in 2017. In 2017, Omanyala was called up to the national team and was part of the Kenyan quartet that competed at the World Relays in the Bahamas. Kenya reached the final of the 4x200 meters and finished sixth. Competing amongst the world's best was a crowning moment for the University of Nairobi student who is studying to be a pharmaceutical scientist. I look up to Johan Blake. Johan Blake is a very fast guy and built like me, runs like me. Uh, I think <laughs> he's a very good idol for me. But his star was deemed momentarily in the same year after he was sanctioned by ADAC for a doping violation. He completed his ban and was eager to make a return in 2018. But misfortune befell him once again when he injured his back. So it was, it was not a good uh, injury because it was so painful and even walking was a problem. Omanyala returned in 2019 in resounding fashion, clinching the national title. In 2020, the season was disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic, but he spent most of his time refining his skills with his coach. Omanyala is now targeting to run under 10 seconds and has set his sights on trying to attain the Olympic qualifying time of 10.5 seconds. So we're going to attempt something interesting. Bernard Ndong versus the fastest man in Kenya, arguably, Ferdinand Omanyala. So we're going to do about 60 meters uh, and see whether or not I am as fast as he is <laughs> or is this going to be a, a, a comical spectacle. So I'm quite anxious, quite nervous, but uh, we'll see how things pan out. Just to avoid risk of injury, we did a light warm-up before the race. This is essential for any rigorous sporting activity. Despite my amateur sprinting skills against arguably Kenya's fastest man, I was able to display my limited running skills. <sighs> Whew. I won. But let's just find out exactly the uh, amount, amount of time that I set. Uh, I can see here from the coach. Uh, you did a 9.78. That's, that's about 9.78. So that means, coach, uh, I won the race. <laughs> but I was running at 100%. And Ferdinand Omanyala was running at about 60%. 60%. So you can only imagine if he ran at 100%. But not a bad effort from an amateur. Definitely, that's not a bad effort. Do I have potential, coach? Uh, you have to train. <laughs> <laughs> I have to train. Yes, you have to train. <laughs>